The BAFTA for an outstanding contribution to British cinema goes to Peter Greenaway. Well, I certainly thank BAFTA for this award. I have to say I'm very, very surprised to receive it. But I'd like to imagine it was an acknowledgement, indeed, of contemporary changing cinema, which we all know is not the same cinema as our fathers and forefathers. So it's an encouragement not only to me, but to all those people who sincerely believe that cinema continually has to be reinvented. I have a huge number of people to thank. I've been making films now for 30 years, and I suppose there's nearly 80 films on the record, and all those people I've worked with continually on both sides of the camera have always been extremely loyal and are very happy to travel with me. So I thank all those people. Of all of them, I suppose maybe in the last 10 years, probably in the last 20 years, is my Dutch film producer, Case Cassander who has always somehow or other found the money and the circumstances for us to continue. So I thank BAFTA indeed for this award and regard it indeed as an encouragement for, let me repeat, the continual reinvention of cinema. Thank you. Peter, congratulations on your BAFTA tonight. You said you were slightly surprised by, um, by the awards. Tell me more. Well, I think probably uh, my cinema, should we say, is a cinema of the outsider. It uh, tends to provoke and irritate. And I think we could safely say that BAFTA represents probably, should we say, the conformist side of, uh, of English cinema. Uh, so it feels a bit like a gesture of uh, being invited out of the cold into the warm. <laughs> I have um, probably had a huge relationship on both sides of uh, the camera with a lot indeed of English collaborators. Yes. So I would like to thank, it's also acknowledgement, I think of all that working process which has been going on now for the last 30 years, so I'm delighted about that. Incredible, incredible. You said um, uh, you were talking about the uh, continued reinvention of cinema. What do you feel about the state of cinema at the moment? Are you encouraged by some of the films that perhaps are nominated tonight? Do you get to well, the cinema I, I'm very not going to give you very easy answers about I that. I didn't think you would, Peter. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think it's probably true, isn't it, of any art form. It continually has to be in, reinvented almost to stand still. And we know that cinema is undergoing an extraordinary change. Uh, cinema habits have changed. The alternatives to cinema from, should we say, what, the uh, great days of maybe in English cinema of the 1960s is a really, really a thing of the past. And in a curious way, you know, thanks to the new trinity of the laptop, the mobile phone, and the camera recorder, everybody's a filmmaker now. So all that old elitism has disappeared. And I think, you know, I would argue constantly that maybe we're gradually moving away from the age of cinema, but we're certainly right in the middle of the age of the screen. And I think we just, we really do have to acknowledge that in every profound way. And you're making a film at the moment, I don't know if you finished it, about Eisenstein. Yes, I, I came back yesterday from Mexico, I go yeah. back to Mexico tomorrow. We're, I'm making a film about probably the greatest, I would say, film director ever who is indeed the Russian Eisenstein, who went to Mexico in 1930 and had all sorts of adventures about, uh, about sex and death, my favorite subject Your favorite matter. subject. It's always about sex and death with you, Peter. Well, we look forward to seeing that, um, a film about one of the greatest filmmakers we've ever known, made by one of our great filmmakers. Well, you're very, very generous. Thank you very much <laughs> Thank indeed. Thank you very much. Enjoy your evening. A safe flight back Thank to you. Mexico. Thank, Thank you. you.